Hi, it's Pastor Bob Grenier, <clears throat> excuse me, from Calvary Chapel in Visalia, California. Spiritual gifts, what are they and how do we use them? That's the subject that Peter addresses in his first letter in chapter 4. Let me read to you. He says in verse 10, as each one has received a gift, minister it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it with the ability which God supplies that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ to whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever, amen. So Peter is bringing up this subject, which is dealt with, of course, all through the New Testament, that the Lord gives us spiritual gifts. And of course, our natural abilities are to be credited to him. But then there are supernatural gifts, which God distributes to us according to his own will. And they're gifts of grace, as Peter says, and we're called to utilize our spiritual gifts and in utilizing them or using them, we're being good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Two of the gifts are mentioned here. First of all, there's speaking gifts. It could be a pastor, a teacher, it could be a Bible teacher, it could be a preacher, an evangelist, it could be a Bible study leader, a woman who's teaching Bible studies to women, it could be Sunday school teachers for adults or for children, or a person who just utilizes a speaking gift on a more one-on-one -on -one level. But whichever of those um, scenarios there are, the one common thread is if you have a speaking gift, then speak as the oracles of God. Recognize that God's given you that ability in order that you might rightly divide and teach the very word of God. The Bible says to preach the word, to teach the word. So that's one gift. Secondly, he mentions the gift of ministering, ministry or helps. Um, and he says, if you have that gift, to do it with the ability which God supplies. So this is also a, a very wonderful truth that God not only gives us spiritual gifts, but then he empowers us and the Holy Spirit works in and through our lives to help us in our service as we utilize those gifts. He also says that the reason we're to depend on the Holy Spirit is so that God can be glorified. All of the glory belongs to him, all of the dominion. So uh, what a blessing. God's given you gifts. He doesn't want them to lay dormant. And if they are, he would have you to stir them up and to utilize them for the benefit of other people. So I pray that uh, if you are using your gifts, that you know, you'll continue to use them. I pray that if you have not been using your gifts, that you might be stirred up to once again get back in the uh, ministry, as it were, and begin to use those gifts. If you don't know what your gifts are, I pray that you'll pray and ask the Lord to help you. So I pray that God will bless you. I pray that he'll give you peace and I pray that he'll cause his face to shine upon you. What a delight and a joy to share with you. God bless you.